I'm doing a little creation gimmick. Okay, so I thought I'd do a little video to show you guys what I've been working on, and it's really, really cool. So I've been doing these little Pro, v, Pro VR gear mounts, but this time, this one's a little bit different. And here you can see I've got a bunch of different little pieces that are kind of magnetically held together. Anyway, these little pieces are going to be used as a mount, more so these two pieces specifically, um, to get this sensor right here working. Okay, so you can see the traditional setup right here is when you've got these sensor mounts on the ceilings and that allows you to have all kinds of great access to seeing the floor and it's, it's really nifty. So instead of having these that are up on the ceiling, I thought, hey, I'm going to devise something that I can actually put up and take down. Let's say if I have company over, if I have people over, or if I'm just not going to play VR for a little while, I can actually take the sensors down without having much trouble. The problem right now is that I have to re-put the cables up every single time. It's just kind of a hassle, no matter what. So anyway, this is a different solution. We're going to check it out right now. Step number one, you just have to put your bases where they need to go. So let's grab our bases now. that's what you see right there. That's basically going to be my track mark when I don't have the sensors up. So to put the sensors on there, it's a very simple process. Now some people don't want to use this whole long bracket and if you don't want to use that, that's fine. I've actually installed two different sizes here for you. So we've got this thicker size right here and we've got a thinner sized one. So you've got two different choices, the thick size or the thin. The thick one of course is the normal standard 1 4 inch. So if you're going to be doing this mount right here, you just simply put it in and you give it a few twists. As you give it a few twists, you're going to feel it lock in right there. And once it's locked in real nice and snug there, really nice and snug, you'll know it's going to work. And at that point, you can already take your sensor and actually plug it right in and it's going to hold itself right up there. And at any point, you can then put your other cables in the next part. But for this part, we're going to use the long sensor. So let's go ahead and undo this, which is as simple as just unscrewing it, simple as that. And we'll take this one, and this one's, this one's the smaller one. We'll go ahead and just do a few turns. All right, now it's nice and snug in there. Nice and snug in there. Not gonna fall out. Okay. And step two is right before we put everything up, we're just gonna take these other pieces and we're just gonna put the cable right in there with it and they should attach themselves just like that. So we'll put all these in there. Put it up just like that. And then we can move our cable along and we can put the cable up as well. And of course, if you need more cable holders to hold the distance longer, you can. And if you've got thicker cables with your extension cables, they'll also be held in the same brackets. And what's really nice is at any point when I'm done using this, if I want to spin it around or move it, I can certainly spin it and get it any direction I want it to be. And I can very easily just take it, pull it all down, and put my sensor away. Once again, if I want to put it back up, it's very easy for me to put it back up in the air. Quick and easy magnetic remote system that you can use. I hope you guys think this is something useful. I hope you guys think this is something useful. I'm uh, certainly going to refine things as they come, but this one is pretty much ready to go. And I didn't mention, but this material right here, these are my mess ups right there, fun mess ups, but this cool material. Um, that I'm using is actually a luminescent material and what that means is that it actually glows in the dark um, So if you you know put lights on it obviously and turn the lights off It'll somewhat you know it'll, it'll glow a little bit. It's a it's kind of a clear luminescent PETG plastic So let me know what you guys think. Uh, hopefully I'll be getting these guys out on the Pro VR gear store pretty soon, but uh, they're not there yet uh, I'm interested in what you guys think of them in the first place. So let me know. See you guys later <laughs>